Well, it, I mean, it's a big issue. There's no question it's a big issue. It's been a big issue for several years now. Uh, depending on who you, uh, who you follow, you know, which uh, tracking entity, uh, you know, states are looking at an unfunded liability of somewhere between, uh, it's about 800 million to a trillion and a quarter. And by that, I mean, that's how much they are on the hook for to uh, government workers in retirement, more than what they have set aside. Uh, obviously, that's a really big number. Uh, a lot of states in recent years have uh, tried to address it in a variety of ways. Uh, a lot of states have gone to uh, what they call hybrid plans, uh, a mix of defined pension, defined benefit, uh, excuse me, defined benefit, defined contribution plans, kind of like a, a 401k. Uh, most of them have applied only to newer workers, um, which is fine. Uh, depending on uh, how, how big your debt is. The biggest, or I would say the biggest shortfalls we've seen are, you know, Illinois has a huge problem, New Jersey has a significant problem, California has a significant problem. Uh, when I say significant, Illinois uh, has an unfunded liability of about $83 billion. Um, the governor uh, has been pushing hard on the legislature there uh, to do something about this. Um, just recently, they passed legislation to uh, add, add a casino in the Chicago area, which he vetoed, um, even though it was a very strongly uh, bipartisan supported measure, uh, particularly to have leverage to try to force lawmakers to come back into a special session after the election and deal with it. Uh, California passed uh, a, a pension reform legislation this fall last day of the session. Uh, the governor made it a benchmark of his entire agenda for 2012, introduced it in his State of the State speech back in January. They dealt with it on the last day of the session in September. Um, as you might expect, uh, it was significantly uh, less comprehensive than what he had asked for. Uh, he actually introduced a 12-point plan uh, that was adopted in whole by the other party, Republicans. Um, that is not what was passed. Uh, it was signed. Uh, theoretically, it will save the state a significant amount of money. Uh, it again only applies to new employees going forward. Um, the figures, again, they range. Uh, estimated uh, savings somewhere maybe around $30 billion, which again is just a fraction. Of this. Again, depends on which uh, metric you apply, but the state is somewhere over $100 billion in the hole. So, you know, I think states are trying, but it's an enormous, enormous problem to try to fix. I think one of the things that most people are afraid of is you're going to see dramatic cuts in public services. Um, one of the things we've seen play out uh, in California quite a bit, we've had several cities, uh, mostly smaller cities, but now one fairly uh, substantially sized city, Stockton, California, has declared bankruptcy. Uh, others have, uh, have indicated that they may be following suit. Uh, the, you know, Stockton has laid a lot of that at the feet of having excessive pension payments that they can't really afford. Uh, they're looking at laying off a significant uh, amount of their police force, which is a really scary thing. I mean, this is a city that's one, arguably per capita one of the most violent in America, and they're losing police left and right. Um, there's a really particularly fascinating thing going on there right now with their bankruptcy that every, I think every municipality in the country is looking at. When they filed, they filed for Chapter 9, um, which is uh, standard. But uh, one of the requirements of Chapter 9 is you are supposed to have uh, negotiated to some extent with your creditors to see uh, if you can uh, negotiate down what you owe them. Uh, they did not do that with uh, their obligations to CalPERS, the California Public Employee Retirement System. Um, and several Wall Street companies now have come after them legally, saying, challenging that, saying, if you're not going to include your pension obligations, uh, then you know you, we, we don't want to be included in that either. Um, that is going to be decided by a, by a judge sometime probably in January. Um, if uh, he sides with uh, Wall Street, 
um, it's going to mean that they have to then, more than likely, are going to have to significantly short what they're giving to CalPERS to pay pensions, which means they're probably going to lose a, the rest of their police force, or at least a significant number of them. I would think a lot of states, a lot of cities are going to look at that and wonder if that's also a solution that fits them. So uh, I think you'll also see immediate legislation to try to deal with it in the California legislature. Um, it's, it's a it's going it's going to create a lot of problems one way or the other. Well, certainly I don't think it's going to go away because this is no longer a strictly partisan issue. We saw it play out as a very partisan issue in Wisconsin with collective bargaining and then the gubernatorial recall and, this and the other recall elections there. Um, but it's, you know, it, it's really not about blue and red, it's about green. Uh, there's a significant amount of money at stake here that um, I think both sides understand needs to be addressed. How it gets done, whether it's through collective bargaining, through uh, some other means as we've seen in Wisconsin, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to say, but I don't think the push is going to end regardless of what happens in, in uh, the elections because that number in Illinois, that number in California, you know, the situations across the country, they're not going to go away. Well, I, I think it's going to take um, an almost unprecedented level of bipartisan cooperation. That's not something we've seen um, in, the, in state houses. Uh, in the last few years, uh, you know, I, I think one thing that would be unfortunate is if this remains a, a highly partisan issue. I mean, it's not news to anybody that, you know, uh, public employee unions tend to have supported the Democrats, uh, you know, other interests support Republicans, but it's, it shouldn't be that issue. This is an issue that affects everybody. And I do think you've seen in, in some states where there has been, a, uh, certainly I'll give California as an example. Now again, I think everyone would say, you know, what they passed was nowhere near what they needed. But when you think of the history of, of how that's gone, these other efforts in, in California history, which there have been many to try to reform the system, uh, they've gone absolutely nowhere. So it was a step. Um, I think we're gonna need to see a lot more steps in a bipartisan way for this issue to get addressed.